2022, finally I have you. After how many years, actually? I don't know. It's been a while, actually. It's been really a while. And uh, I feel actually blessed that we can do this amidst that crazy time. I just feel blessed that we're back doing this again. You know? You've been at it's, UK. Oh my goodness, talk about um, blessed to be back. That was, uh, you know, it was crazy. And I think that um, this was probably the loudest the crowd has ever been at UK since I can remember. But I, I think also that with UK, you, you know, the last few years before COVID, it was like the, the crowd was like normal, you know, and the, you, we get spoiled, you know, because we get yes, spoiled because because we, we see we see what we love every day. True, true. Then to have it taken from us, taken from us, not not for two months, which which, which we thought, <laughs> it's like it's been like over two years now. It's crazy. Yeah. So so to have it back and to have the audience respond the way they did, they were just, and I have to say, I was sitting watching the final. It, I actually had my the hairs on my arms were standing up. I was like so I'm it, sure. It was sure. so exciting. It was so exciting. It was, it was a great final action. Yeah, not, not only the final, but I mean the 24, the 48, so many good couples. And the six couples that got left out of the, the final yeah. in the semifinal, they're all top top, top world top. quality. Oh yeah. I mean it's it's crazy and insane. So to have nothing for two years and then boom, everybody. It was uh it was uh, unbelievable. Speaking of that, that's my question actually. Uh, what was moving your career when you were dancing? Uh, what, what, what was driving you forward? Because your time when you were dancing was much harder. With I, traveling, I, I, with hotels, with food. And you, we didn't have, you didn't have any services for hair, for makeup. And no, services. no, no. Well, we did. And in the end, we, we had hair, but we didn't have like phones you could look at videos on and, and, and things like that. You know, it's like being able to watch YouTube. Giant tapes. And, yeah, well, yeah, you, we had to wait for the, the VHS tape and take it home and put it in the, in the VHS recorder and to see what it was, you know, and uh, no, I, I think, um, I, I don't think the, the passion has, has changed from back to what it was then and what it is now. I know, speaking for me and for Diana, we were 10 dancers, so we were driven by both ballroom and Latin, and... Um, but you're Latin, more. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm like, I'm like crossing everything. No, actually, well, we were uh, professional Latin champions, and we're in the final. We were, but we only got as high as sixth in the ballroom, so we didn't do as well in the ballroom. But we liked them both, you know. And I remember when we won the professional Latin, they, they, uh, they, they being like coaches said, okay, you now you have to stop ballroom. And I'm like, but why? Because we had already, we had also that year won the world ten dance championship. So it was a. Uh, it was one of those things, well, should, should we give it up? Should we not give it up? And we had to look into our heart and say, no, we want to just, we, we love it so much, you know? And that's, that's what actually drove us, was our, our love for, for the, the art that we do, you know? And I call it an art because I don't really think it's a sport. Thank, thankfully, it's not yeah, in the Olympics. I mean, yeah. Thankfully. In, yeah, thank Sometimes, actually, I miss it. I, I just want us to be dancers to be in an opening ceremony. That's it. Well, yeah, that would be cool. Walk <laughs> around, you get the tracksuit, and, then, and yeah. then that's yeah. it. But, yeah, yeah. I mean... Yeah, but it's uh, it's it's a. I mean, I'm I'm blessed as as you probably feel the same yes. to be we, able to. We spoke about it at yeah. at the dinner. I mean, it's just amazing time right now. But to be able to do what you love, and that, and that and that is your your occupation. I get on the plane sometimes, and I'm sitting next to some gentleman who like, works for you know IBM or something, and he says, "Well, what is your occupation?" I tell him, "Well, I'm a ballroom dancer," and he's like, "No, but what do you what what is your real job?" You know. <laughs> No, that, that's my real job, buddy, you know, so so we're, we're blessed. Okay, you know? so, so speaking of actually about our generation now, it's like, what do you think is shifting or how the maybe perception of the dancing changed? Because sometimes I feel it's too, it's too business oriented from some dancers, like passion is missing. Is it your well, perception? I'll tell you what, what I think is missing is individual personality. Because I remember like, if, if I look back to our, when we danced in, in our final, you had Tony and Melanie, and like Tony Meredith, Melanie and Patton, Rick Valenzuela and Melissa, there was Jean-Marc Genereau, Pierre Allaire, like we're all characters, you know, and we all had our own individual, not only style, but our personality when we danced. And I, and I feel that, I don't know if couples are going to too many coaches so that everything gets kind of canceled out. But too much YouTube. Too, uh, and actually, too much. You're, you're right, because we didn't have YouTube back then. We, we couldn't copy things. We just had to create our own thing, right? So I, I think, you know, believe in yourself, believe in what you do, believe in your product, and don't be afraid to show how it emotionally affects you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. No, yeah. Listen, pay attention. It's true. It wasn't supposed to be educational interview, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. but, but anyway.
thank you for being here. Thank you for coming for thank an interview. You. Because thank he's you. actually judging now, so we're <laughs> yeah, gonna post it later. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. City Life 2022. Thank you.